And in Lithgow, residents of the Hartley Valley just east of town are still holding their breath tonight. Some left their homes voluntarily earlier today. Water bombers and dozens of firefighters on the ground are still battling the blaze this evening. A frightening sight for Hartley Valley residents. Woken just after four this morning to this. A bright red glow lit up Lithgow as the fire raced up the hill and into the mountains. Flames were excessively high. Um, quite warm, we were getting ash and dust and embers all over us. Pretty scary stuff, um, wind changes that might uh, come back on us. Dad came in and goes, wake up, we might have to leave, there's a fire. The fire took off in bushland off Hartley Valley Road, coming just a few hundred metres from dozens of homes on Berry Street. Once it started, it was hard to stop. Within minutes, the flames had hit scenic hill, coming dangerously close to traffic on the Bells Line of Road. Pretty, pretty hectic because um, the whole mountain was ablaze and uh, just lit up the sky. It is quite frightening, especially for kids at 4 o'clock in the morning when it's pitch dark and you open up the doors of blinds and look just out and you see red. More than 50 local RFS volunteers have spent much of the day dragging hoses up hills, the steep terrain making it difficult to reach. Five helicopters have been water bombing since first light. Their best chance of fighting it from the air. We have contained the head of the fire, however the two flanks are still um, very active. They're all very vigilant and oh, it's a wonderful job these firefighters are doing. It's amazing. Fire crews are still bombing Lithgow, but the concern is if the winds turn south later today, the blaze could reach Clarence, putting up to 100 properties at risk. This morning we went up and spoke to all the residents in Clarence, Doorknock, the area. Fire crews will backburn through the night to hopefully stop the blaze spreading any further. In Lithgow, Alex Bernhardt, Prime 7 News. And police are now investigating the possibility that the Lithgow fire was deliberately lit. Detectives and crime scene have been collecting evidence for most of the day. At least three separate ignition points have been found along the Hartley Valley Road where the fire started. Police are speaking with a number of suspects, but so far no arrests have been made. A 17-year-old has been charged with starting a fire in Orange overnight. Police were called to a fire on a vacant block off Lone Pine Avenue just before 9pm. Firefighters quickly extinguished the blaze before it threatened any properties. About 500 square metres of grassland was burnt, as well as minor damage to a property. It's alleged the teenager used matches to start the fire. Police are very concerned of this type of behaviour um, and people, if detected, will be charged with the offences. The Rural Fire Service has bought a fire which burnt 146 hectares near Hargraves under control. 13 tankers, three helicopters and a water bombing plane helped contain the fire. Three dozen firefighters and two graders are now helping build up containment lines. There have been no breakouts or spot fires flare up since last night and no properties are under threat. It's believed the fire was started by electrical equipment. And police are investigating a car fire which ignited a grass fire near Parks overnight. The car was found ablaze on the Newell Highway, 16 k's north of town, just before 11 o'clock last night. Police tried to extinguish the flames, but the fire spread to nearby bushland. The highway was closed for a short time while RFS volunteers and local farmers doused the flames. Thieves stole the car from a home in Dubbo yesterday afternoon.